What is going on guys? I am the White Guy. Today we are playing another MX versus ATV Reflex custom track and today we are checking out, I believe this is Buzz Arena Cross by the C4 Detonator. This is one of the two Arena Cross tracks in his Eidolon Complex track he's putting together. There is Buzz Arena Cross, which is this, and Hatchet Arena Cross. And he says massive thanks to Red Rider and Dark Slides for the objects like the banners and the gates. And they made it, he said, enjoy, and he's got a couple more tracks coming soon. This, of course, being made by C4 Detonator, if you didn't already say it. And he is one of the better track makers that there is in Reflect. He, just, he makes really good stuff every time he puts something out. You can usually bet on it being pretty high quality, which um, uh, clearly this is. It's really well put together. There's a nice thing right there. There's a really nice finish gate right there. I believe that'd be a hip jump, it looks like. There we go, there's a nice double to send over. And these are arena cross tracks, like I just said, so they're going to be a bit shorter tracks, these two. So we'll, hopefully we can get some pretty fast lap times going through here. And come on, there are, there are two of these right here, though, by the way. There are two tracks in this little spot, 18 second laps, so we might be able to knock out 30 laps in this thing pretty quick. They are meant to be extremely short tracks. Like, I think the, the other one, the other track's on the inside right there, I believe. Let's get over this bump. Ooh, we didn't quite make it. So, um, realistically, we're probably going to end up bumping over the... Ah, how's it going to sit now? I, I don't know if I should do two shorter videos or just uh, just one longer one, two trucks. But I think for the purposes of titling, I'm going to do two shorter videos. But, um, yeah, this is... It should be able to knock out some laps pretty quickly. I'm willing to bet the better people can probably get sub 10 second lap times. I'd be willing to bet. So, we're going to try and do that. I think we definitely want to take the inside line off the finish line there. Because they're gonna yeah, send it over that double into the corner. These step on step, these step ons are, those are really hard to actually get. There's like hardly any pop on there. People better than you can probably hit them pretty cleanly though. All right, so I, I, oh you can't. Oh, see, he put a thing there so you can't cut out. So I can cut in at the last second. He, he thought about that. He's not gonna let you cheat that easily. All right, so we gotta like slow up for that. Try and catch the whip there. Oh, I tried to like whip glitch and tease it over there, and it was not having it at all. All right, let's get over the dragons back then. So that's the downside. If you go to the inside, there's whips and stuff on the inside. You put that line there, so it's a little bit slightly more difficult to try and cut the track to cheat a little bit and get faster times. That will still be able to sneak by there, I'm willing to say. Okay, so I think that's going to be these. We're going to try and do step-ons, just doubling over. It's probably going to work out easier. We're gonna try the, we'll try the dirty line through here of cut there and cut in at the last second. Eh... That sort of worked out. All right, so back on the track here. Come on, there we go. Get over the object, bump on over. All right, let's see if we can do this again now. We got I think like cut it the last second, and you wash out. I'm thinking there's a way to whip it super hard through there and make that cutting work so you don't float up too high. I'll, I'll try again next lap. I mean, it's we're gonna have to wait about 10 seconds to be able to get recentered on it. But I do think doubling over that's going to ultimately be faster than bobbling over the step-ons. Those step-ons are really hard to snag, which I guess they are the faster lines, and they should be more difficult to hit, which makes sense. And yeah, that's that's not going to work out the way I thought it would. You're probably going to be better off just trying to go without taking dirty lines through here. I do like how he, I think he made the other um, the rest of the other track around this darker. Like, the lighting only seems to affect the part of the track you're supposed to be on, so the rest of it kind of fades into the background. Because you, you can see the track on, on the outside of this, it's definitely a thing. Alright, let's get over this, though. Alright, we'll line up to take this. We'll go for a decently fast lap this time if we can. Let's see. I do think it's going to be easier to try and... There you go. We'll try the step on again. Yeah, that's definitely the faster line through there. It's just a lot harder to be able to actually hit it every time consistently. And there we go. Oh, how close do you want to cut that? That's, yeah, this is going to be a terrible lap here. But anyway, guys, um, after, by the time you're watching this video, I, I just found out there's a new game coming out, which I'm going I'm to mention that now in here. There's a LCQ Studios. You're going to want to look this up. They're making a new motocross game right now. And they've already, uh, just Google LCQ Studios, you can probably find the website. There's already, they already have some interesting videos up about, like, they have a track, they're putting a track editor in with the game. That it kind of, if you watch my video about D, um, when I made the track in D-Series, their track editor pretty much looks identical to that right now. And it looks like they're going to have that included in the game, so you can make your own tracks with it immediately. 
And they are, they're, they're already, um, there's a skin competition going on right now where they're asking the community to make skins for their games. They're already working actively with the community to get stuff in there, which is pretty cool to see. Hopefully you guys want to go check them out and support them a little bit, because it'd be, it'd be fantastic if they actually make it, it's just... If you, uh, if you if you like these kinds of games, more of them never hurts because more of them is more competition, and competition is what drives evolution, and products get better with competition. As we all know how uh, basic capitalism works, competition is a good thing, and if they make quality stuff, then they'll make, force other people to bump their, their, um, their quality up and step their game up. It's, it's just a good thing to see more people in there. I hopefully they'll do well, but I hope they do well, because it'd be really neat to see what they can come up with. They seem like they're actively engaged people that want to do it, and hopefully they, they, they're listening to the community. It should, should be good. Definitely, definitely go check those guys out. Uh, I don't know how a lot. Of, I don't know how many people heard about them before. Now I didn't see it until somebody posted on Reflex Central about it. Um, I do still check Reflex Central for tracks like that. I would use Dark Slide's new website. I would promote it if you're if you're somebody out there making tracks. Try and post them to Dark Slide's new website. But I, I tend to go back and forth and check both of them just to make sure there's not I'm not missing a track or something for now. Because Dark Slide's are in, in the long run. Since um. Reflex Central, it works, but uh, you have to navigate by using links if you want. You can't just find a list of older tracks. You have to navigate by using links. But if you go to Dark Slide's website, you actually went through and cataloged every track on Reflex Central. Now they're all listed there. So you can just hit Control F, type in the track name on his website, and it will come up, which is kind of neat. There's, uh, if you go to like ds19.tk slash reflex, I want to say, they'll have a list of every Reflex track ever made. And if you just hit Control F on your browser, you can type in the name of the track, and that should find it and make it look pretty easy on you. But geez, it looks like we're actually we actually might be able to knock out all 30 laps in the video here. That would that would be a first, a 30 lap video. That would definitely be a first. But with 17 second laps, how could I say no? I kind of want to close them all out now because this is. I honestly have never done that many laps in the video before. This this might be honestly the shortest track. I haven't I haven't gotten to the other track in this yet. Well, that'll be another video another day, but. Willing to bet that these are probably going to be some of the fastest, not fastest, but shortest tracks ever made for Reflex, which is kind of neat. There's little arena cross tracks, and be fun like you have in a backyard or something. Alright, so let's see. Let's just try and take the inside line for this lap and see if it gets any faster. And it's ultimately going to come down to whether or not I can hit the step ons correctly. Yep, there we go. Yep, there's the pop. I did them wrong the first two times, but um, the step ons actually worked pretty well. Alright, that was definitely a faster lap. Let's see if we can get, break the 15 second barrier. There we go, step on. Those step ons work really well, you just have to hit them just right for it to... You can't, you can't try and shortcut around them, you gotta hit them right, like uh, I, I did that last time. Alright, so here we go again. Quick glitch over. Scrub that, and then cut hard to the right. Let off the, you have to let off a little bit for those, or you're going to just bump way too hard on them. And this is already being a, just a trash lap right now. <laughs> it's okay, we've got seven more laps to figure it out. We're good. All right, that's ultimately going to come down to how close do you want to cut it to this, to, towards the, uh, the tower there. All right, this should be a good line for the step-ons, I hope. Nope. We got the we got a bad bounce on there, but might still be able to come. No, nope, we're not coming back. No way. No way. This ends up being faster. That was like a right between the two lines. I couldn't I couldn't decide, so I just wanted to hit them both. So we gotta go that way. Cut through that. There we go. That's almost what you need to do. Get over that. Oh, it was almost faster. So close. We're getting it's okay. We've only got four laps to go here. One of these will have. One of these has got to be faster, right? All right. So we'll just we'll run them through that this time. I think rhythm through that till you get a better line through the um, through the dragons back there. All right. So here we go. We'll try it again. We'll, we'll try rhythm through them this time. And of course, as I say that, we come up short. <sighs> Uh, that's brutal. All right, let's get through here. Then we have to. It's okay. We we'll have to reset. We only have like 14 seconds to get to do another one. All right, so let's set up here. Shove that jump just right. Land it just right. Let off a little bit for this. Probably didn't let off nearly enough. But it looks like we're still going to be able to rhythm through that. There we go. Over the dragon's back and then cut in hard. 
Oh, not quite faster. We got one more lap. Are, are we going to be able to do it? I got, you could fast forward ahead a few seconds and find out, but... I'm going I'm to bet on no after that, but uh, we're going to have to close the video off there, I guess, because we're about to finish the lap, but thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. It's probably a bit of a... Oh, you still made it over 10 minutes. Huh, how about that? But, uh, yeah, it's definitely a shorter video today. Hopefully you enjoyed this track. If you actually made it this far through 30 laps of the track with me, thank you for sticking around through it. Uh, we'll be checking out the other track in another video another day. Do you have any other games you want to see? Let me know. Uh, again, as I mentioned, uh, I just got done rendering up the MXGP3 speculation video that should have already gone up before you see this. Let me know if you want to see some MXGP3 on the channel or not and whatnot. There's also a link in the description to a channel group chat for those of you who are interested. You might want to check that out. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.